Friday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. But hey, it kills the cockroaches too, so you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I? Right, the power outage. Apparently, some plant out in Santo short. UV? 
Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. It makes you think the cops got it wrong. Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering death. What do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Left literally seconds before the attack. Now it looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there!
Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch is no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister, later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could've. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Rather not jump to any conclusions. There's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. 
Mayor's Hustle, the NCPD. No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. What a great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. You're gonna say something? Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. All right, I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat.
information from Okadasa. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end card station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. The River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Han. Mind if we step off to the side? Han and me, we're like one mind. We've got no secrets. You really intend to work with a Merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. But now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friend. Just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, too. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. I'm discovering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because... 
got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. This is not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. Lighter. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I All find right, evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, we're two first. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. I'm gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Christine Markov. Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the Chromius package. Oh, yeah, made scats on scats here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scarf to tower trash. I'd get myself an A, B, flying a fucking slim ass out of here. 
Paid to showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Kato, weird doesn't mean what it means to everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Come on. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always... Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill. Please. <laughs> Jump, clown! Jump! Let's get this party started! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there.
guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. I'll know what it's about. All right. Wait here then. You looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Fuck. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know! So fucking remember! And make it quick. All right. Jesus. Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure, thanks. Come on, this is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me.
Fuck off. Nothing to see here. I'm looking for a club. Red Queen's Race. Closed. Not opening anytime soon either. So it's fine if I have a look around inside. No, it ain't. No looking. Just delta the fuck out of here. Like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch? Cop intuition? Something like that. Got spotted. Okay. Hang on. Be right there. Hey, don't be scared now. is in for it now.
Daniel doesn't tend to lie. Too scared. So, the club's around here somewhere. In the garage, is my guess. Or under it.
lines were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful.
outside for search and rescue efforts. Welcome to paradise, folks. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. I gotta do the talking. You're the detective. But I don't have a... A warrant. Right. What? Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip you. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done! Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the payoff!
me. Won the heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. 
Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Yeah, family comes first. Can't argue with that. The city eats anyone who tries to go it alone. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be, but it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. What now? Well, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Got a BD that somebody spiked. Just gotta figure out who. That, I think I can do. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay, observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan, got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat. Thank you.
Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. Ryan was murdered. At a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Cops are working the case again. Investigation into Ryan's death will be reopened. That's very good news. I feel... calmed. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. V? You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off?